Hello student, welcome once again to my channel. Now, we have a question over here. Now, we are to determine if um, the two vectors are parallel, orthogonal or neither for these two vectors. So, we are given um, QEA, vector QEA being 4, minus 2, and 7, and vector PEA being equal to um, minus 3i. Then, we have J here, right? Then, we have 2K here, all right? Now, we realize that, so we have to determine if these two vectors are parallel or orthogonal. Now, if you look at the, um, just a quick inspection, we realize that the first and second, um, so we realize that the first and second um, components of the two vectors, so which is just four, uh, negative two here, three, negative two here, we realize that they have, um, they are opposite they have opposite opposite um, signs right and therefore the third doesn't have that so we realize that the sign here is positive and it's positive here then also if you look at the first and the second one yes we realize that for the two vectors we realize that they have opposite signs right we have positive here but it is negative here we have negative here and it's positive here therefore this means that um, there is no possible way that the um the two vectors to be um the scalar so we realize that when we multiply a scalar right by these um, two vectors we realize that there is no number that will change the sign right on the first two components that is for this that and also that and therefore we can therefore um, conclude that the, uh, the two vectors are not parallel right the two vectors they are not parallel so because of their signs over here if we add um, a scalar to it we realize that they are um, they are not parallel so therefore we can conclude that um uh, not parallel so we can write not parallel do but then also we have to check whether they are um, orthogonal right so in checking that we realize that when we dot these two um vectors so when we dot um vector q and also vector p here right we realize that it will be equal to zero right it will be equal to zero because they have um, different angles right and therefore if you take the course of um so you take um cos 90 you realize that it is equal to zero right so dotting these two is just like having q right and p and we have cos theta right and this will just be equal to zero so it's just um getting their um that will give us equal to zero and therefore this means that the two vectors um, must be orthogonal so since it is equal to zero we realize that um, these two vectors are orthogonal but that they are not parallel and therefore because they are dot product here is equal to zero so for any dot uh, two vectors having dot product equal to zero then we can conclude that they are orthogonal right so orthogonal here Will be for that so and they are not what parallel so that will be it for um the question here thank you very much for joining me in this session i hope this session was helpful and uh, please leave a comment like subscribe and also hit the notification bell to be notified anytime we release a new video thank you very much and i'll see you guys in another section